Fellow citizens, ladies and gentlemen, before entering upon the subject of my lecture on mines and mining, I hope you will pardon me if I shall take up a portion of your time for the purpose of saying a few words in regard to the history of the Sutro Tunnel. This great work and my connections therewith have been so long and so outrageously misrepresented by parties whose sole aim and object appears to be to get control of it for themselves, that I deem it my duty to set myself right before my fellow citizens. I first conceived the idea of running a deep tunnel to the Comstock Lode shortly after its discovery, at my first visit to this section in the spring of 1860. The undertaking, however, was of so gigantic a nature and received so little encouragement that I did not take any active steps in the matter until the fall of 1864, when I concluded to apply to the Nevada legislature, which was to meet in the January following for a franchise to construct such a tunnel. 